Inside Jennifer Garner's $7.9 million LA farmhouse where Ben Affleck sought reprieve during J. Low divorce, Jennifer Garner owns a stunning farmhouse in the hills of Los Angeles that she built after she and Ben Affleck finalized their divorce in 2018 the same spot the actor sought reprieve amid his divorce from Jennifer Lopez. The Argo star, 52, was seen arriving at the $7.9 million abode in July after his ex reportedly encouraged him to work on his marriage with Lopez, 55, before they ultimately called it quits. Hello. If you're new here please do not forget to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to remain updated. Garner, 52, seems to love opening the home up to family and friends, as throughout Tuesday's video with Architectural Digest, she spoke frequently about her kids and their friends using the space. Jennifer Garner opened up her $7.9 million farmhouse to Architectural Digest for a story published Tuesday. The actress can be seen smiling in her vegetable house above. Affleck was seen arriving at the cozy home in July amid his divorce from Jennifer Lopez. A special feature, especially in the summer, is having the living room doors all the way wide open, she said as the video showed the wall of glass in the living room seamlessly slide away to reveal a deck and pool. The only problem is if my kids are having their class pool party here. It's very hard to keep wet kids out of the house. I have to really just stand guard, she smiled. She also enthusiastically brought up her kids piling into one of the four built-in bunk beds in the slumber party room to watch a movie together. I love having a spot that is just, where kids can be kids, she noted. The custom home features a living room, seen here, with a glass wall that opens up to an outdoor deck and pool. Garner, who was photographed with fruits in her kitchen, built the house following her 2018 divorce from Affleck. Instagram slash at Jennifer.Garner. Garner said she keeps her kids' favorite toys from childhood in the room so little children who visit feel welcome but she said she catches her offspring taking the toys out every so often. The 13 going on 30 star shares her three children Violet, 18, Serafina, 15, and Samuel, 12 with Affleck. Building her home post-divorce wasn't the original plan, but after years of failing to find what felt like her forever spot, she took matters into her own hands. I looked and looked for a house to move into, but I needed privacy, and any house that had privacy was more grand than I felt comfortable in, she explained. I wanted it to feel old and cool and historic, but I also wanted to make it work for a big family with a lot of things going on, Garner explained to AD. One of her favorite spots is her orchard, which grows cherries, apples, and more. She can be seen smiling with a freshly picked apple above. Instagram slash at Jennifer.Garner. Want more celebrity and pop culture news? Start your day with Page Six Daily. Once she bought her plot of land, she hired the husband and wife architect and interior designer team Steve and Brooke Janetti to help her make her dreams of owning a new, warm, family home into reality. Designer Laura Putnam also contributed to the project. I wanted it to feel old and cool and historic, but I also wanted to make it work for a big family with a lot of things going on, Garner explained to AD. The alias actress said she described to Steve what she wanted and he drew up a near-perfect watercolor of her vision. Some of the farmhouse features include a Harry Potter office for her son, a saltwater aquarium and stained glass for a reading nook. We so didn't change much, she recalled. I never even made a Pinterest board. I never even showed him pictures from a magazine. I just told him what I wanted and he did it, but it turns out I'm really, really happy. The house is full of fun custom features in addition to the slumber party room, including a Harry Potter-themed hideaway for Samuel, a saltwater aquarium and a reading nook with a pair of stained glass windows.